Almighty Allah, who is the most beneficent and the most merciful, honorable judges, respected audience, and my dear fellows, Assalamu Alaikum. Let's think, let's imagine, let's open mind for saying that. Let's agree to disagree. Respected audience, agreeing to disagreement means coming to an understanding with someone you disagree. It means that every fight or argument doesn't need to end, proving what is right or wrong. Disagreement happens all the time. Sometimes we just have to learn to agree with the disagreement. Differences are not the failure of humanity. Differences are the test of our humanity. Respected audience, you all are extremely different from me and I am from you. I cannot possibly agree with you. But still, I'll acknowledge you. I'll smile at you. I'll save your life. I'll make sure to help you in your worst days. Even though I have totally different opinions from you, I might not agree with you in many things. So what? Respected audience, people think that differences should be eliminated to let the dialogue commence. That is impossible. Differences can never end because difference is a part of nature. So let's respect others' opinions and differences or simply let's agree to disagree. Mahatma Gandhi said, honest disagreement is often a good sign of progress. We really need to understand that disagreement will happen even among the best of people. But it does not make the person evil. It paves the way towards our mutual growth and understanding. Is the time is passing, is we are progressing technologically and academically and we are becoming more sophisticated in our education. But it doesn't mean we become insensitive in our arguments and discussions and lose the ability to interact with other people with respect. Bullet Shah said, and I quote, tear down the mosque, the temple, everything inside, but do not break a human heart, for that is where God resides. We can agree to disagree, but we don't need to be disagreeable. When we disagree with each other, honestly, emphatically, and respectfully, then we are actually heading towards better understanding. Is dialogue and critical reflection are the heart of progressive education. It is better we learn to listen, question, and respond with compassion, empathy, and respect. In fact, I will say, let's agree to disagree more. Is disagreement? Not an end, but a new beginning. Thank you all. Hello. Questions from the audience? others are saying. It means it, the notion critically uh, emphasizes on critical thinking in a right way. We should not criticize, we should not argue with others, uh, we should respect others' opinion. That's it. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, that was a good input from your side, well rehearsed and well managed. Uh, could you please uh, educate me on one thing which uh, really troubles my mind that schools are training uh, children and students on all this like uh, we should disagree decently. 
still we you know see that whenever there is some argument we just flare up and we you know uh, come to you know grapples so what do you what is your take on it then why is it not being effective like not being effective uh, effective like effective you already know that we should be yeah. said to see we should try to we are not trying to we just saying that we just uh, i am educating all of you through my speech here but i don't think uh, all of you would uh, follow this what i am saying we need to follow okay we need to uh, just uh, do not say words it is uh, the what i am saying should not only limited to words only mm -hmm. we should do Oh, okay thank you it is a counter argument uh, i won't uh, overburden you but uh, this is the question that uh, you know uh, we i think we don't follow it from within her i mean the heart. spirit spirit of the argument thank you very much thank you thank you She was Ayman Mushtaq from Janab Basic School. She took two minutes and forty-three seconds for speech. Two minutes and forty-three seconds. <laughs> 